Got some rock wool. We can change things up a little. Besides, it's 100 degrees outside, so let's experiment. Before we get started on that, just want to show you the wall of kale is doing great. Somebody asked, how can you tell when you have to refill it? And you go up and you ask the plant, do you need some nutrients? And if he answers you, go get medical help. If the jug moves around and it feels like it's half empty, it's time to refill it. So get some nutrients. We use so much, the nursery pumps it directly to our house. You know, all I do is get one of these things. I think it's called a funnel. And I put it in the back and just add some nutrients. No big deal. Go grow some kale. Oh, I got some daddle peppers growing too and they're changing colors. Hot sauce is on the way. Now, I've been using the pool noodles for a long time. And you guys have seen me. I just get some microgreens, put them in the pool noodles. It's not that tough. And I've been growing loads and loads of greens like this for years and years. And I just figure it's a nice simple system. Now I've had a few people say that they've planted them out and they've tried it like this. And when they come back out, all of their sprouts are dead. And they've tried it a couple times. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And I think one problem is they're squeezing them too hard. See, your little microgreens are really tender, right? You can't squeeze them all that hard. So what can we do? Hmm. 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 Well, y'all are thinking there's a cat in your strawberry patch. What? What? Yeah, hey, kitty, get out of there. What are you doing? You're laying on my strawberries. Ah, your is right on my strawberries. Come on, get out, out. Uh, I'll deal with you later. So I heard a lot of people are still growing with rock wool, even though I haven't used any for like eight years, but maybe that's an easier way for some people. So we're gonna give it a try. And for people who don't like the rock wool, I've also got this Rapid Rooter Plant Starter. It's from General Hydroponics. And it says it's made out of peat moss. And it says to just put it in a mild nutrient solution to rehydrate it. All right, let's open it up. Cool, it's got a little Ziploc container so we can store what we don't use. Now here's rock wool, little half strength nutrients. And we're gonna use this one for the peat plugs. Now just take it, gently set it down in the solution. Let it kind of float, and absorb the nutrients. There we go. Now we're just gonna repeat that process carefully 48 times. Hey, just kidding, we'll just dump some in here. All right, see all the little bubbles? Like some kind of gas is being given off. I wonder if it's dangerous. So I put my hands in here. Just kidding. It's just peat moss and water. Don't drink it. Don't eat it either. All right, and if you guys haven't used rock wool before, just want to show you really quick. Take these and do not squeeze them. That's a big no-no. Your roots won't be happy. Just leave them just like this. All right? I'm gonna let them soak overnight. Bye, Rocko. Got some seeds from Johnny Seeds. Asian Delight. No jokes, please. Here's all the important stuff. Just pause the video and you can read it all if you want. Uh, do that later. All right. Get a ramen container. I'm gonna put in my rock wool. About 20 of them fits in here really well. And I'm just gonna put a couple of pak choy seeds into each one of these holes. I'm not gonna bother counting each one out. I'm not gonna try and get exactly three or four in each one. I'm just putting a little pinch, scooting them around. It's kind of fun. Get them all in there, it's like a little game. And then coming back and closing the tops off a little, right? And we're going to do the same thing with the peat plugs, but these are a little bigger. We can only fit 14 of them in my ramen container. And that's just science. It's math. It's physics. Can't do anything about it. 
So it's 14. And it's going to be the same thing, so I won't bore you with that. I just sat here and put all the seeds into the little holes, covered it up, did it a couple times, kind of like playing Sudoku or something. And we just cover them up, put them on a shelf, and let them sit there. And in a day or two, you're going to see them sprout like this. Right? So keep them covered up for a little while. You, out of the bed. Watch where you're stepping. Ah. All right, to make it even easier, I decided to get some of the plugs and go ahead and put a pool noodle around them. See, I use a pool noodle because it kind of blocks everything out. When you put rock wool in a cup, it lets a lot of light and air in. Mosquitoes, bugs, small frogs, bears. You know, even with hydrogen, it leaves a lot of open space. This way, when I set it in the cup, it cuts down on that space. So bears and mosquitoes and stuff can't get in, right? Now I'm going to drop about four or five pak choy seeds into each one of these holes and just set it and forget it. All right, and someone was asking about algae with the downspouts here. And we did this pak choy, you can see the lovely white roots, right? But uh, see, there's no algae in the pool noodle. There's a little bit on the outside, none on the inside. And I want to show you inside of the downspout. There's no algae. Now you don't have to paint these black and, and white again. Uh, they're thick enough that they don't let light in. And uh, I don't have any problem with algae. Y'all let me know if any of you do. Let's check out one of these other holes here. We're going to be cleaning them all out. And you can see it's the whole thing, you know, not just that one spot. So it's no algae in these. So it's really easy to clean out. Now three and a half minutes later, our pak choy seeds have started to grow and they're looking fantastic this is the part that just gets me excited now most normal people would let these go for another week or so you know until they got bigger before they took them outside in the hundred degree weather but i'm not normal because the ones that are outside in the heat have already sprouted Look, this one is growing on top of a brownie. Just kidding, that's just the, the peat plug, right? But you can see, you know, we planted them in here. It's hot outside, and these guys have still sprouted. So it's usually hard to get germination during the summer, but these are growing just fine. We're going to let them go. The downspout grower. So we take all these plugs out and we do the same thing. We just cut a pool noodle, set them inside of the net cup, fill your downspout with nutrient solution, and let them go and let Mother Nature handle it. So you can see here it kind of cuts out that little extra air space. And pretty much you don't need the net cup. Like I said, I've got it on there just in case. You know, so in case the plug falls through, you can see it's not even touching the bottom of the net cup. So it's there just in case these guys slip through. And if this works out all right, I probably won't even use the net cups anymore. But it looks kind of cute in here. I just want to make it easy for everyone. So it's just a different way. You know, if I do this, don't get excited and say, well, you did it this way or why are you doing this? And... I'm giving you different options. It's like there's not just one way to scramble an egg. There's several ways. And you pick what works well for you. Ah, and by the way, tomato plant's doing good. Got some blooms, getting big. I did get some algae, especially around the pool noodles. And we'll talk about that in another video. And we let these guys go a couple days. They're already grown into baby greens. So they survived. We got more stuff ready to go. Basil. Got all kinds of stuff planted out. And it is in the high 90s. We went up to 103 one day. And we're still growing stuff. You know, here's with no net cup.
you know, just different ways to do things. Have fun, experiment. Yeah, it's hot outside. I know you don't want to grow, but this is a good time. If you can make it through the summer, you can grow a little bit. Wait to see what you can do in the fall. Now you guys get out there, share it up, lift, inspire, keep on growing, be the change. We'll catch you next time. Ba-ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Ba-ba-da-ba-ba.